Have you heard the phrase, it's not what you know, it's who you know? Well, that's not necessarily the case when it comes to your direct sales business, is it? It really is who knows you. One thing I see over and over again in our profession are people that want to be successful. They really want to be successful in their business, but they hide out in their office or they get stuck in a sea of procrastination. Do your friends, family, and followers on social media think of you instantly as their go-to person when they need your product or your service? If not, as often as they should, or, or, or would you like them to? Here are four ways to ramp up your exposure so that you are the person they think of. Number one, be curious and captivated. I know that you've heard Zig Ziglar's quote, no one cares how much you know until they know how much you care, right? Well, that's true, but I believe that it goes further than that. No one cares about you and your business or even cares to have a conversation with you about it until they know that you're not just trying to get a sale and pretend you're interested to do so until you engage with, engage with them and ask curious, heartfelt questions to discover what's really important to them, what their needs are, and, and are willing to enter into some sort of relationship that values them as a person first. When you meet someone or are connecting at a networking or a vendor event, ask questions, listen, and, and let them tell their story and be captivated by becoming genuinely interested in who they are. The second tip is to share your story. Have you ever wondered what an interesting or maybe intriguing person did? Perhaps you knew them at, at face value or are just seeing them across the room, but you feel like you want to know more about them? Well, the best way to do that is to enter into a conversation to really get to know their story and, and then also be willing to share yours. So this step is twofold. Simply introduce yourself if you don't know them and, and say, tell me more about you. Really easy, right? And during your conversation, you'll decide whether it makes sense to continue in that relationship. Now, the second part of this step is, is to make sure that you're intriguing not overbearing or, or self-seeking, and that you can share your story and the transformation or benefits that you've received in a manner that they can identify with. Make a connection with their story. You know, this step is really about connection. How can you connect with this person? Does he or she seem like someone that you'd really like to add to your circle of friends? And if so, there will come a time during the conversation that they, they turn the focus to you. Now be ready to tell your story. Have a shorter version that's maybe under a minute and, and very concise, as well as a longer version intertwined with curious questions just to keep your prospect engaged. Now remember to keep your focus on them and connecting to them at all times. Number three, reconnect once the original connection has been made. Don't become a stalker by any means, but follow up with reconnecting. In today's age, it should go unsaid that you can immediately send a friend request on Facebook to them, right? Connect on Twitter, Google+, and even LinkedIn if it's appropriate. Be sure to also send a private message letting them know how much you really enjoyed your conversation and send a brief reminder of how you can serve them with what you do. Now, people like to stay connected with people that are givers and those that are grateful. When you reconnect with them, ask them who else you could make an introduction with for them or how else you could serve them. Next, remember to start developing an online relationship with them by posting on important posts and events and, that they make and, and always look for times and opportunities to reconnect. Number four, be visible at events. There are ways to expand your contacts with people you don't know or to brand yourself as the go-to person in your community for your company. Get creative, be visible, offer gift certificates, wear your logo wear, offer to be a speaker at local events, and, and even bring snacks to the ball field with samples and catalogs for the moms. These are just four tips to help you gain more exposure and ramp up your exposure for your direct selling business. I hope they're helpful. Let me know below what one you like best. And don't forget to reconnect with us on Facebook at The Christian Direct Seller or Direct Sales Specialist. And you can always find just a ton of videos and training if you go over to my blog, www.beckyspeeth.com. Take care and God bless you. And I'll be in your inbox next Saturday.